Hey everybody, welcome back to the couch. My name is Melissa and this is Couch Mom Club. Today I am doing a try on haul to make it easy for you to style your postpartum body and I hope that you enjoy it. So the three things you wanna keep in mind when you are styling your postpartum body is sale, style, and season. So the first thing I'm gonna to mention to you is shopping within the season. When you are styling your postpartum body, I call it the in-between body because you are, you know, just had your baby, you're not quite back to the body style or shape that you want because maybe you're gonna do a little bit of working out, maybe your diet is gonna change, you're gonna just naturally lose weight. If you are breastfeeding, you might suck down a few pounds. You know, all of that stuff is happening after you've had the baby. Of course, you have the Punch, but you don't have the baby inside and you are in an in-between stage so I call it the in-between body and when you are shopping to style and you know get the appropriate outfits for your in-between body you want to remember to shop within the season the reason this is is because you might be fluctuating and you don't want to go too far in advance in terms of purchasing items for a following season just in case it doesn't fit anymore it's out of style or you kind of change your mind about whether or not you like it so shop Shop within the season the next thing is shop within your style I understand that your postpartum body might be different you might be still be getting used to it you might not feel totally comfortable but this is where you want to rely on what you already know if you already have a sense of style you don't want to go too far away from that plan don't deviate from what you will normally do just because you're, you're trying to get to your yourself you're trying to get back to feeling normal feeling more like you and this is not the time to be totally switching your style up. I understand that it might be the tempting thing to do because you might think a certain style might fit your body better, but you are gonna feel more like yourself if you dress more like yourself. The last thing is the sale, and this is really, really important. You don't wanna spend too much money on the in-between body because it is just that. It's just an in-between stage. You don't know how long it's gonna last. You don't know if it will last forever. You just kinda wanna gauge it and be very careful about the money that you're spending to style this body. Things might change and it might change quickly, it might change slowly, whatever it is, we know that this stage will not last forever. So you don't wanna spend a lot of money. Something that I like to do is shop in a consignment shop or I like to thrift. I like to thrift for my pregnant body as well as my in-between body because I know that I don't wanna spend too much but I need a few things in order to make sure that my wardrobe is full and that I'm able to walk out any day of the week and feel comfortable and feel confident and let's face it the better you look the better you feel if you feel confident in your clothing if you feel that you are stylish and you are looking good especially after just having a baby you're gonna feel a lot better and that feeling is gonna help you to recover from your pregnancy and to move on with your day-to-day -day life with ease and better comfort and more confidence which is exactly what you want to do all right so my whole postpartum style is casual. I like to be casual, I like to be comfortable, I like to make sure that you know I can move and flex in the clothes that I have. Of course, I wanna be able to breastfeed and I wanna be able to do certain things. I have two other children as well, so I wanna be able to get on their level and do things with them and still feel like myself in my clothes. So these outfits that I'm gonna style for you are gonna be just casual outfits. They are five tops and five bottoms that you can really interchange and you can mix and match and create a full wardrobe. When you are postpartum, you kind of want to keep it simple. You, you want to get enough so that you have things to play with, but you don't want to overdo it. And you want to also make sure that what you have is going to be able to carry you through the entire week so that you will have enough clothing. You're not sitting there in puke stained clothes all day, which sometimes you might be doing. If you ever have to run an errand or run outside the house for whatever reason, you have some comfortable and casual clothes that make sense in the home when you're just chilling with 
with your children or outside of the home when you're running errands or doing whatever you have to do as a mom. So if you hear me refer to the postpartum body as the in-between body, it's because I believe it is just that. It's an in-between stage and I feel that this body is probably the most difficult one to style. The reason is, is because it's, it's so temporary and it doesn't last. So you don't have enough time to really get comfortable and know what you're doing within that stage. And this kind of plays on your mind. Like it's a psychological thing. You're in your closet, you're trying to get something together so that you can either leave the house or even if you're just at home, you want to be comfortable. And then you realize none of your clothes quite fit you. So I am going to help you with five bottoms and five tops that you can mix and match and just play with so that you can have a full wardrobe for your in-between body. So the five bottoms that I like to have in my wardrobe are two pairs of jeans. I usually like to have one light and one dark, or you can go one black and one denim. It's up to you. I like to have a skirt and I like to have a casual trouser or pants and I would like to have something like a sweatpants or a jogging pants that can breathe easy. So the five tops that I like to have in my wardrobe are a camisole, a tank top, a crop sweater as well as a cardigan sweater and a button up top. These five items paired with the other five items that I mentioned are going to give you a full wardrobe and just cause you to just be completely styled. You're gonna slay every single day, I promise you. And you're gonna be comfortable and you're gonna do all of the things that mommy needs to do and still look cute. You can literally have a number of accessories. You can have different shoes. You can even put on different jackets. What I I didn't mention the jackets, but I did show you a different jacket so that you could pair it with another pair of heels. Because even though these outfits are really casual, you can literally switch the game up by adding heels or a different jacket to make it a little bit more fancy. So if you spent the whole day just kind of running errands and doing what you had to do, and then you didn't quite have time to change, but you needed to do something a little bit more fancy in the evening, you can change your shoes, change your jacket, and totally switch the game up with the same 10 items. It it really doesn't matter. The possibilities are endless. Having the five tops and the five bottoms, you are easily able to mix and match and have a very complete and full wardrobe. Of course, with the shoes and the different slippers and whatever else that you're wearing on your feet, you can totally change the look of them too. With the denim jeans that I like to get in this in-between phase, you call them the mom jeans. Everybody's wearing them, whether you've just had a baby or not. They are very, very good for hiding the things that you wanna hide, tucking the things that you wanna tuck and looking good and being comfortable. So with the mom jeans, I like to have those high-waisted jeans where the button is just nice and cinched so that you feel all comfortable and tucked in and it's very stylish. With the mom jeans, you could pair this with any top. I like to do it with the tank top or with something that is more flowing, like a button-up shirt. It doesn't matter really what you do. Your cardigan is going to be your best friend with these outfits because you can literally switch and change it into just wearing the tank top or a t-shirt, which I didn't show you, but a t-shirt is a great option as well. And then you can have the cardigan to pull on and off. I love having a tank top that is really loose in the arm because instead of pulling your shirt up or down, you can literally just expose one of your breasts on the side and be able to feed and nurse your baby with comfort and with ease. One of the must-have items in the bottom section is definitely a pair of pants with a slinky waist. For me, I like to have a skirt and a pair of pants that are both stretchy in the waist. There might be a little bit of pain in your abdomen section and you don't wanna wear something that is too tight or that will irritate your scar. So you wanna kinda get pants or bottoms that will go on your natural waist, which is usually where your belly button is, and not on your lower waist so that you're not irritating your C-section scar or anything else that might be in that area. You wanna give it to me? I think it's important to also have a camisole because you never know with the different outfits that you have how fancy or how dressed up you're going to have to be. So the camisole is gonna take your casual outfit to the next level in case you have to leave the house and interact with other adults. All right, in the sweater department, I love a cropped sweater because it is just easier to access your boobs. When you have to nurse your baby, it's, it's just easy. And I don't know what it is about the fashion of this time, but everything is literally a crop shirt, a crop sweater, a crop everything. So you see with the in-between body, it is a challenge sometimes to style. It's a challenge to be confident and comfortable, especially when you have so many other things to worry about. But if you get five bottoms and five tops, you are going to just 
you're gonna be in business. You don't have to worry about doing too much. I know that it might seem limiting, but you can mix match each piece and have a full wardrobe. This will make you comfortable and confident from Monday to Sunday with no problems at all. The five pieces that I mentioned in both the bottom section and the top section can be changed. I mean, if your style is to be a little bit more dressed up or a little bit more you know, casual, of course you can switch it out and do what you need to do. Remembering those three things that I told you from the beginning, make sure that you're shopping your sale, make sure that you're shopping your style, and make sure that you're shopping within the season. And then you're gonna find that that in-between body will always be in fashion, always be in style, and always be comfortable and cute and confident. So until next time, here are some really cool Couch Mom Club videos for you to enjoy, and don't forget to join the club. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you never miss an upload. Follow me on all your favorite social media accounts and don't forget to check out the merch. The links will be in the description right below your like button. And now it's time to get off the couch and into life.